Oh, hello there. You called me as I was looking at what delicious meal I'm about to cook for another excellent episode of Cooking with Liam. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Liam and today I'm going to be cooking a creamy Cajun chicken pasta. I'm joined as always by camera operator Lady Cat. Say hi Cat. Hey. There we go. Now, Cat assures me that this one will be a simple, straightforward, easy one. I did say there's a bit of chopping. Yes, you did say that, but you also said it'd be straightforward, simple and easy. What Kat has also done, in an attempt to reduce my moaning, I assume, is she has adapted the ingredients list to what she thinks is the right amount. So when I read out these ingredients, what I can't do this time is tell you what it should be. I can only tell you what we're doing exactly. Just go on the Pinch of Norm website. Yeah, I guess that's what you could do. This uh, recipe for the creamy Cajun chicken pasta can be found on the Pinch of Norm website if you're curious how it should be done. But like, we've got things here that Kat's just crossed out because she didn't want them, like button mushrooms and carrots. Kat was like, I don't like those. So... I mean, carrots don't belong in this recipe, like... No. All right, well, should I start telling you what the ingredients are? Yeah. All right, here we go. Um, chicken breasts, diced. I don't know how many, Cat crossed out the number. Yeah, just, you know, a packet, innit? 125 grams of fusilli pasta, or whichever pasta shape you prefer. Did I say fusilli right? Sure. Um, I have a question. Why is it that we've adjusted, like, the amount of chicken breasts and everything, but not the amount of pasta? Just add as much pasta as you think is sensible. Well, right, like... this says 125 grams. Yeah, I mean, this whole packet yeah. is 500 grams. Just eyeball it, okay. as you always do with pasta. Um, 0.5 onion diced. Doesn't That's onion. one onion, and you need to halve that and then dice the half. And then what do you do with the extra half? I, I guess you can reserve it. Should we just it? do a whole onion? Sure. I mean, I don't want to waste it. Do you know what I mean? It's like... It's not cool, is it? It's not cool to waste food. No. Uh, two spring onions, chopped. I mean, we're probably going to waste some of these. It's not cool, though, is it? No, but they, you can't just, like, unless you go to the supermarket or to, like, a farmer's market, you're not getting the exact amount of things like spring onion that you want. Anyway, uh, three red, yellow or green bell peppers, de-seeded and diced. Or you've got a red, a yellow and an orange. Yeah. So that's fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, a handful of cherry tomatoes halved. I mean, that's subjective to the size of your hand. Yeah, like, put your hand out for the camera. And then, like, my hand in comparison. One of those is going to be a lot bigger than the other, isn't it? Yeah, but you just eyeball it. Yeah. Uh, one X. Yeah. Two tablespoons of quark. What the hell is quark? quark? It's a fat-free soft cheese. I've never heard of quark before. Yeah, so it's... I thought it was like a physics thing. Like mm, a quark. No, that's something else. Can... There's there's also a design piece of software called quark. I thought it was like a unit of measurement in physics. Like an, in this context, it's fat-free soft cheese. Yeah, sure. Grated cheese. Oh, God, I forgot to get that out. Where is it? In the fridge. Oh, come on, Catherine, I thought you prepared this. Sorry. Um... Mm. Cheese. Oh. I was looking for cheese that had been grated. No, I'm not going to buy a whole packet it. of cheese, just the grated cheese. All right, well, we've got to grate that then, haven't we? Yeah. 30 grams of reduced fat spreadable cheese. What's this? And then you've crossed out Schwartz season. What's that? That's just like a all-purpose seasoning. Just add more paprika and Cajun. All right, so you need one tablespoon, one teaspoon, sorry, of paprika and one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Now, the Cajun seasoning we've got, we got from like a local butcher's or something, didn't we? Yeah. It's meant to be really good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Chicken stock cube made up with 250 millilitres of boiling water. Yeah. And last but not least, low-calorie cooking spray. Boom. Boom. So... We're going to start doing some cooking. Uh, cook pasta as per instructions on the pack with a little salt. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, ignore that. 
because you've got a bunch of chopping to do. And fresh pasta. Do you want to know Don't how long that time takes? Five minutes. Five minutes. So I would ignore that and I'd probably cook you it You 100% won't well, expect me to get that right then. Because no, when I, I said don't. five minutes, instead of being like, correct, you were just like, five minutes, like, immediately, like, he's going to get it wrong anyway. Yeah. So, okay, so I'm ignoring. So should I just start pre prepping all the food in the yeah. ingredients list? And yeah. then we'll go to the instructions. Yeah. So, what's the first thing I need to do, Catherine? Wash your hands. Damn right. What happens if I don't wash my hands? Mm, get bacteria all over the shop. Uh, there's one place that you don't want bacteria, and that's the shop. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it's really cold down in the kitchen and it's quite cold on my feet. How oh, nice. And I know you've got to look like slippers on, but yeah. I'm going to try to put some like heat holes on or something. Cause I'm going to put these feet on you later and you're going to feel how cold they are. No, I'm alright, thank gonna you. You're going to ruin the day, I swear. I'm alright, thank you. Nah, you, you haven't ruined the day yet, have you? But you will. Um, last week, we cooked uh, cherry cola pulled pork. Do you want to give an update on how that went? It was disgusting. Right, it was the worst one yet, wasn't it? The flavour was just not it good. It was utterly, utterly repulsive. Yes. Dicing an onion. Here's your onion, give it a good squeeze, lovely jubbly. Get a suitable knife, I picked this one. Ooh. Oh, you missed my little trick. Sorry, I do it again then. Well, no, because I'm just... I didn't know you were going to do a trick. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my trick. Do it again. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm dicing with danger doing that. Uh, right, so you know how to do an onion by now. You cut the ends off. If you've seen Cooking with Ian before, you should know how to cut an onion. Or at least how you cut an onion. Cut the ends off. Come on, right down the middle. Lovely, gently. And then you just strip it. You just strip it. Take away the skin and all that. I'm gonna put that there because I don't want that. Now you said that I could dice this in the chopper, right? Yeah, I mean it says diced and that's what the chopper does. So you need to cut that into a few wedges though. So it fits. Well, I need to get the skin off of it first. Yeah. Oh! What an adventure we've gone on with this cooking with Liam Malarkey, eh? Hmm. What's been your favourite moment in cooking with Liam? It's been yours. When you said that you were always careful and that your middle name was careful and then you dropped a load of pasta. I don't think I've had a favourite moment, to be honest. <laughs> but the, the thing is, right, here's, here's, here's the thing, audience. The whole, like, conception of cooking with Liam was because Kat was belly aching about having to do all the cooking. I said, like, I'd really like one night off where I'm not cooking. And I said, perfect, I've got you. Don't worry, Kat. Um, I see you, I hear you, and we're going to address this. And so I invented a whole cooking show He's that I forced... He's literally never said that to me when I've asked him to do something. That I forced Kat to film. Yeah. It's and not a night I'm, off, is it? And now all I get is belly aching. Oh, I've got to do filming. Oh, yeah. Can't win. Cannot win. Do you know, you would have won if you just cooked for me and I could just sit on my ass and do nothing. Yeah, but you, that's, that's not how this relationship works. This bit here, is I, that a problem? I'll cut that off. Yeah. Did it. Right, so now... It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it, I need to get this in here, don't I? Well, so you that... need to cut it into smaller pieces. Yeah, perhaps. yeah. So here's one thing, everyone. Kat has prepared all of the things that I'll need ahead of time. Yeah. Well done, Catherine. We're almost starting to get kind of organised now, aren't we? Almost. Next we'll have, um, what's his face, Gordon Ramsay being like, well done, Liam, for cooking. <laughs> That'll never happen. Yeah, never I doubt happen. it. Maybe you should post pictures of your cooking with Liam achievements because he does sometimes rate people's yeah, food online. Yeah, but none of this that I do is ever an achievement. Like... When have I ever cooked something for you, mm. served it up, and you've gone, oh, Liam, that looks, that looks lovely. I mean, looks-wise, probably not, but the no. chicken and treats, so pasta bake. I've only had the seconds. We've done, like, 20 of these now. We always and come back to that, though. one time. Yeah. And I Is he going to get it right? Time. Is he going to get it right? No. What? How is that not right? That is right. What are you chatting about? 
Oh yeah, it is right. I couldn't tell. I haven't got my glasses on. What? Just dice the onion. Go on, I dare you. Alright. Hey, hey, let's get it so you can see it. Alright. Um, well, your big elbow's in the way now. <laughs> oh, you need to turn it on at the plugs. Whoa! That's the wrong one. That's the right one. Nice bit of light in there. Have you screwed it on properly? Yeah. <laughs> No, we don't want to pulp it, do we? So that's no. probably enough for it Let's to be rest. Look inside. That, that I'd say is enough for it yeah, to be rest. Yeah, there's a couple of chunky bits. But oh, we okay. like a chunky bit of onion every now and again. Though, yeah, anyway. so like some uh, chunk in the onion. Because the onion's just going to go in with the chicken in the pan. Why don't you add the onion to the pan now so it's out of the way? Because I'm probably going to have to spray the pan, aren't I? Yeah. Well, why don't you do that now? You're over there. It's convenient. Spray the pan. I haven't read that in the recipe yet. Yeah, but what I'm saying is because you're going to need the recipe. chopper again. Yeah, okay. Let me read you might as well put that in the pan. Cook the chicken and onions in a few sprays of low calorie cooking spray. So you need a few sprays. That's very important. Let's get some light on that over here. There we go. So, well, this is feeling like it's starting to run a bit low. Have we got more of this? Yeah. Good. Now, here's a tip, everyone. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, no, but what I've done... the bloody pan away Yeah, that's what you need to see, though. What I've done is when there's not a lot in here, if you try and spray it like that, it actually works quite well, but sometimes it won't work well. But <laughs> if it's not working well when you're trying it's to do that... It's actually worked quite well. Hold the pan up, right, like that, and hold this up, right, and spray it. Yeah. And you should find that you have a lot more success. Wow. This is Chef Liam. Top, Top tip. tip. Um... It's been a while since we've had any like chuck it in top tips, I feel like. Because I think last time it was such a shit show that there were no top tips to be had. Yeah. It was just like, don't do this. Yeah. That was the top tip. Do not cook this cherry <laughs> coat with pulled pork monstrosity. Yeah. And this is double the onion. But we love onions, so that's the right, isn't yeah. it? I don't think that will be an issue. We might need a spoon to scrape up the I'm rest. Sure. Ow! Did you just. Hit yourself with the blade. No. Just use a bloody spoon. I hit my finger on that bit actually. Um, okay, or well, still. That's not really doing a lot for you. Just use I'm spoon. going to use a spoon. Very good idea. Thank you. All from my own <laughs> brain. Right, there you go, there you go, there you go. Right, there we go, lovely, lovely. So that's what you do, you get the onion out. And I'm just going to spread it around in the pan a bit as well. So, um,. What next? Uh, well, you've got to do the peppers next, haven't you? All right, I'll take the peppers back with me then. All three of these. Well, I've substituted the other veg that was in the recipe for the rest of the peppers so they weren't wasted. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get the three peppers out. And what you need to do with the peppers if I remember rightly, I can just check actually. You're going to want to de seed and dice them. Now, if you've seen Cooking with Liam before, I don't know why that was so difficult, but you should know by now how to de seed and dice a pepper. But maybe this is your first time watching. Welcome. You're in for an educational treat. You want to cut off. The, the like hat of the pepper, if you will. The hat. Yeah, imagine that's the hat. Like, there you go. so this is the pepper. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is the hat. Got the hat. Okay, now what are we doing? We're cutting out the heart of it. What you want to do is you want to picture that you're a villain in like a movie, and you just want to crunch and pull out the heart. Oh wow. The heart is where all the, the seeds are. If you look here, you can see all of the seeds there. Yeah. We don't want any of them. And then you just want to tip the rest out. Yeah. Uh, don't worry too much about making a mess because hopefully you'll have a Catherine who can tidy up that mess for you. I dropped it. Uh, right, I haven't quite got all the seeds out. So what you're going to want to do to get the rest of them out is just quite carefully. What, you, what One thing you absolutely do not want to do as you're like digging out the seeds, 
is go too deep and then poke the knife through the pepper and, and hurt a finger. You're speaking from experience there. Yeah. Yeah. People who have watched uh, previous episodes of Cooking with Liam, they'll have seen that happen. Mm -hmm. Long time viewers. Just used your hands to pull the rest out. Oh, yeah. This is taking forever. Yeah, that's a good point. There yeah. You go. Job done. And then this needs to be cut down small enough so it can go in here. Because if you put it in like that, <laughs> that won't work. It's not it? going to work, is it? It's not going to work. No. So, you know, good tip there. Yeah. So, what you want to do to cut it down is just basically just like hack at it in a way that you find satisfying. That's what I'm doing. That's probably all right, isn't it? Chunks like that. Yeah. No, if, Give you it a have, go. if you have a bigger chopper thing, I mean, we probably could, do somewhere. You could probably get away with cutting the, the things into bigger pieces, couldn't you? Yeah. But we've only got this little tiny baby one, so we can probably only do one pepper at a time. I, I reckon. reckon so. Some people might have one so big that they could do all three peppers in one go. These people are very lucky. Yeah, I mean, you've got bits at the top there that I'm not convinced are going to... Go in? Yeah, well, they're not going to chop properly. Yeah, no, but you just crush it then, don't you? You mush it all in, like that. It's a bit like um, tidying, where you've got to find homes for things. Right. You know, I do a lot of tidying mm -hmm. in this house. You don't know, do you? Tidy enough after Catherine. That's not at all what happens. You yeah. didn't think it would go in? But what happened? Well, it's not that it won't go in, it's just... <laughs> Will it, it cut? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's my question, because this doesn't go in now. So where do I put this now? I'd probably put it in a, like a bowl because you're going to obviously like a, one need of these to bowls. Bits the others. Yeah, something like that, as long as it's big enough. Yeah, that should be big enough. What for yeah. that plus the other one? Probably not. Um, I would plus the other two. Yeah, I'd use the one of the glass bowls then. All right, I can use a glass bowl, that's not a problem at all. You'll find the glass bowls in here, mm -hmm. your kitchen layout may, ver may vary. I should think so. It'd be weird if it didn't. What would you do if someone was like a big fan of cooking with Liam? They sent a picture and they're like, I've modelled my kitchen after yours. That and it was weird. like an exact replica. I'd be very confused. Please yeah. pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I really wish I'd caught that moment then. I but you didn't, because you're not, you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Well, I am. I'm just also concerned about what you're doing. Don't worry about that. Mm. Am I going to need my spoon again? Yeah, I think so. It's got a bit mushy, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh well. But, you know, I'm just doing what I've been told to do. Right. Who told me to do it this way? You did, Catherine. Yeah, but with cooking, you kind of have to apply some logic. If you look at the chopper and you're like, hmm, I'm really going to have to pulverise that to get everything chopped, then you put less in. I mean, that's one approach, for sure. Yeah, you know we're 20 minutes in and we haven't even actually started the cooking yet. Are you surprised? No, just disappointed. <laughs> Welcome to dating, Liam. <laughs> uh, right, let's cut off another hat. There you go. And then you want to just, again, cut around the heart like that. Because what you, you want to do... Pull it out like a real villain. And then you just you pull it out and that's another heart done. And actually, this one hasn't left a lot of seeds yeah, behind. Yeah, pulling it out is a lot better. I yeah, it has left a, a few of these like remnants. But... Yeah, well, you just pull those out. Yeah, I'm doing it, aren't I? Yeah, easy peasy. Oh, Catherine. Yeah. Right, imagine that I didn't do this to you earlier and you can do it for the first time for the camera, okay? Right. Knock, knock. I'm not doing it. Can you just please get a move on? I couldn't be moving much faster. I'm just not sure I believe that. Not... Also, I don't know how many times I tell you to cut the pepper from the yeah. inside out. I don't my way. I don't like doing it your way. A bit quicker. How is this quicker? It would be quicker if you were doing it properly and you had a simple knife. Oh, mate, you need to do it. Is, is this too big to go in like this bit, yeah? Yeah. And this bit? Probably. All right, well, let me ask you something then. What, this bit? Definitely. Oh, okay. Jesus. Right, everything else is all right, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, I Maybe. think so. 
So if I think it's okay, guess what? What? It's probably okay. I'm not sure that's true, but okay. Yeah. Alright, so quick blitz. As you can see, I'm getting quite uh, good at... Are you? Yeah. Okay. Loudly, won't it? Probably. So we want to put that in the bowl. It's still quite liquidy and that was yeah, blended it's very a, lot, watery, peppery. a lot less. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, it's all mixing into a sauce anyway, isn't it? You just drop a load on the Drop something. I don't know what that is. Okay. And I don't care. So. The last pepper. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to show you the man technique. So you take the hat off. Nice to meet you. Hat off. Then you just get your hands in there and you just rip it out like that. This has left quite a lot of seeds behind, so just be wary. Get them out though. It's not too difficult, is it? No. Big shake, there you go, that'll do, absolutely lovely. I'm sure if like one or two seeds remains, that's not yeah, a problem, is it? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. What's this little bit of, like, this little thing here? I don't know, it's a vegetable, like it's going to have like, things on it. You can cut the bottom off if you want. No, I just didn't know what it was. I don't know, mate, I'm Maybe sure it's Maybe it's the fine. tastiest part of the pepper, we Maybe. don't know. Do it cat's way so she doesn't pinch. Happy with that? That piece is probably a bit too big, but... Well, obviously. Okay. Why are you asking if I'm happy with them? Well, I did it your technique where I'm yeah. doing it. Okay. This way, isn't it? Yeah. That's the bit I thought you might be happy with. Yeah, ecstatic. Good. You can tell the energy from Catherine started really high and now it's very quickly plummeted. Yeah, well, this is really taking a long time, isn't it? You know that the cooking, the, the, the chopping takes me time. Yeah, to be fair, the cooking doesn't take that long. Exactly. Just... Also, to be fair, the recipe did say 15 minutes of prep and I've spent... 22 minutes so far. There you go then. I haven't just cut the spring onions yet. There you go. I don't think I could go much faster, quite frankly. Not without having an accident. Mm. Which I, you know, if you want me to have an accident, no, I'll go faster. No, I also don't want you to have an accident. That's really gone mushy. So... It must have retained a lot of water in the pepper. Yeah, well, it's, it's a well-known fact that um, peppers contain a lot of water. Yep. You know, right, what fruit... Can you please be careful when you do that? Because, like, you're supposed to unplug it if you're putting the bits back on. Oh, it's fine. I mean, you don't actually need that again now, I don't think, so... Okay. What fruit do you, do you think, Catherine? Mm -hmm. And think about this, don't just, like... Knee jerk reaction. Yeah. What fruit do you think has the most water in it? Cucumber. What? Cucumber. <laughs> Final answer? Yeah. Alright, ready to be bamboozled? Yeah. Watermelon. Clues in the name, mate. Yeah, but is that just based on the size of the watermelon? No, it's based on the fact that it's called a watermelon. Right. They wouldn't call it a watermelon, they just call it a melon. Well, no, it's just comparative to them. I, I don't know, mate. Just get on with it, innit? Well, what's next? Well, if you're cutting up everything, then I think you have to cut up some two spring onions. Two onions chopped. So two of these, bad boys. Now, do we remember last time how to chop them? No. Good. I think it's like chop, 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 and you don't do the ends. Because if I remember yeah. rightly, last time when we did the ends, they kind of just like wilted a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to say fuck you ends, yeah? Okay. Fuck you ends. And then chop, chop. Like, I don't know if I'm doing it at a good, like if you're happy with that or... Sure, I don't care. Oh God, we've reached that point already, have we? Yeah, I'm hungry. You should really snack before cooking with Liam. You should really take lots of less time. Mm -hmm. Usually he said I should take longer then. Yeah, well I'm hungry, I'm delusional, I'm not a bit. Mm. I'll do one more, and then you, you don't want these endy bits, so... 
Uh, I'll just leave them there for now. Mm. Uh, right, anything else that needs prepping? Let's have a look. The only thing I'd say is maybe way out for... Um, for the cherry tomatoes halved? Well, oh, shit, yeah, I'd forgotten about those. I'd also weigh out the soft cheese, but you don't necessarily have to do that first. No. Now, the cherry tomatoes halved, mm. do it on this chopping board. I'd just get another chopping board because it's going to be quite a lot of cherry tomatoes. Should we get Jason out? If you want. Come on, Jason. Here he is. I can't see where I've been. Hold him up. Jason. Lovely. Um, right, I'm going to do this over here. Okay. So a handful of these. I'm going to use a little baby knife to harden them. Yeah. Now. Careful, please. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, I need to get a hand in there, don't I? Yeah, but you were tearing that open like they weren't just going to go everywhere. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting a handful. Is that a handful? Sure. And of course, because they're tomatoes, they're now going to roll everywhere. I haven't lost any yet. Not yet. Halved. So, okay. Um, when it's when the recipe says to get cherry tomatoes and halved, that might sound complicated. It's not. All you need to do... In what way does that sound complicated? <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is take a cherry tomato yeah, and just how are you cut gonna, it in the you middle. Are you going to cut it the right way? No, of course you're not. No? There we go. Oh, and that's squirted out a lot of juice. Mm, yeah, but that's how you get into it. And that's it. That's, that's how you halve it. Yep. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it is squeezing out a lot of the juice by doing it this yeah. way. But that's the way you do it. Uh, now that's I'm really, because it looks like Jason's got blood on his face, sort of. Oh. Um, in some movies, they use tomato ketchup as a substitute for I'll blood. I'll make another suggestion. Uh, when you do it, enough. start from the top of the tomato. Yeah, but it rolls that way. If I have the top on the bottom, it doesn't roll, see? Not rolly. Not rolly, just do it. Rolly. If you push it, it will roll. Uh, yeah, and that's physics, that is, isn't it? Mm. That's the theory of relativity. Every action... Come on, what's, it, what's the theory of relativity, Catherine? It has a reaction. Has an equal and opposite reaction. Whatever. <laughs> Not only are you learning cooking and cooking with Liam, but I'm finding a bit of physics for you as well. You're very welcome. Lucky us. Yeah, I think you're quite lucky. Alright, so, what you'll find is this last little bit the knife will go in at the start lovely and then it will really struggle at the last little bit you just got to sort of like twist it a bit and just sort of wiggle it a little bit and just rip the tomato off Brilliant. oh god it's really squirting everywhere though, isn't it mm. this is why you need a nice uh, apron like my apron that i have here it just says cooking with liam and it says i pooped today on it why does it say that i don't know oh god you lost a the tomato there. You've got to be careful. You've got to pay attention. Yeah. Cooking's a dangerous game, and if you lose focus for even a second... You lose a tomato. You could lose a tomato, if not more. Mm. Could lose <laughs> a finger. <laughs> you could lose a finger! You could, yeah. That's significantly more than a tomato, isn't it? Significantly. Yeah. I'm surprised I haven't lost a girlfriend through cooking with me. Yeah, me too. Right, so, I'm going to wash my hands again, because I've got tomato oil in there. What else do I need to prep, Catherine? You want me to do some weighing? And I just thought it would be useful for you to weigh out the reduced fat spreadable cheese. Would that be useful? Yes. Right. There's also some stock to make up. Yeah, but that won't take long, will it? No, you could start frying the first bits and then and make then, up the stock. Yeah, exactly. So, we're nearly at the cooking part. Who's excited? Me. But first, I need to take this cheese, don't I? And how do I get the cheese from here into the... Just use a spoon. Uh, what size spoon? A tablespoon. Alright, so here's the, 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 the scales. Yeah. That's in the way. I've turned them on. Just let them calm down. It says zero at the moment. How much of this do I need? 30 grams. Oh, that's not too much, is it? No. Oh, this is a whole new one. Yeah, which is good, because otherwise it would have gone everywhere when that happened. You might want to lay it flat, because it will have water on top. Don't worry about it, I've got this. See? Yeah. Professional. I am a chef. 
Mm. If you think about it. <laughs> and if you look at my hat. The hat don't lie. The hat don't lie. Oh, well, that's 52. Is that too much? Why would you put a massive dollar bit? <laughs> that is too much, yes, because the recipe calls for 30. What's it say now? 40. 41. That'll be I'll fine. Just leave it. Yeah, 41 will be fine. No. I love how at first you're like, oh, 30 grams, that's not much. And then you're like, oh, I'll put a massive dollop in now. The sort of face that you can't be mad at. Hmm. Although the effect is diminished somewhat by your lack of glasses. So yeah. you probably can't see just quite how cheeky my cheeky face is looking. Hmm. Right, so you'll find at this point that you're getting real fucking sick of prepping food and you just, <laughs> you just want to start cooking food. If you're anything like cat, you're like, oh, where's my fucking food? <laughs> manly pose. <laughs> so manly. I've done an impression of you. Hmm. There's always time for a little drink. Oh, is there though? So I'm hungry. We need to boil that, don't we? I thought you were going to start frying the chicken and the onion first. Don't I have to put the pasta in? Yeah. At what point? Okay, let's have a little look at the instructions. We, we, we determined that the pasta takes five minutes to cook. So yeah. you add the... There's opportunity because there's at one point where you have to like um, cook for five, then add that, and then cook for another five. Oh, okay, so we'll do the pasta here then. I mean, sure. Okay, cool. So you cook the chicken and onions in a few sprays over a medium heat for three to four minutes until the chicken starts to brown and the onions start to soften. So what you want to do? Why does it say the chicken starts to brown when actually the chicken is going white? Because if the chicken starts to go brown, it means that it, you've overcooked it. You'd have to write to the people that, that make things your and ask them that question. I don't think yeah. they're the only ones who say it. Well... Right, so I you've got your know. onion in the pan already. Yeah, next. You're dabbing the chicken gracefully. Oh, what? there wasn't a little... No, some... they don't have to put that in chicken. Okay, good. So now, let's just get out of the way. You're oh, doing... I've just got chicken juice on my hands. Oh, you're going to want to wash that? Yeah, I really am. And what you're also going to want to do is check that I've got this on a medium heat for your satisfaction. I'm currently trying to wash one hand whilst also film you. No. Oh, it's not going well. Let's have a look at the heat. It's on a medium heat. I'll turn it down just slightly. Alright. Uh, just can you get just a little camera shot of, of this? And you can probably see why I think that is a medium, because that's pretty much bang in the middle. Just turn it down slightly. Sure, there you go. There, that's, that's a low heat now, but... No, it's definitely not. No, but look, right, come on and have a look at this. Right, I'll show you. No, no. This here, low heat. This here, medium heat. This here, high heat. You are in between medium right, and high. Right, now let me show you something. Look here. Look at this bit here. Yeah, no, ignore that. No, because that's, that's got a little bit, bit, bit. I'm going to film that six bit. foot three. Yeah, oh, whatever, mate. Anyway. Let's just get on with it. Well, I am getting on with it. Get a lot quicker in the high heat, though. If you want to overcook the chicken, yeah. Yeah. What's the next bit once I've done this? Let's have a quick look, shall we? So you're doing that for three to five minutes until the chicken starts to boo boo. Then you mix the Cajun seasoning uh, and the paprika uh, and add half of it to the pan. So it's diced little... chicken, isn't very diced. Okay. I'm going to need a little bowl to mix that in, aren't I? Yeah. There we go. Why is this chicken all like? So mix the Cajun seasoning. So how much of the seasoning of the Cajun seasoning was it? Just do a tablespoon of each. One teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. I'm going to do it that way. One teaspoon of paprika, one tablespoon of... Right, it's just starting to sizzle now. Yeah, look how big the bits of chicken are, though. Like, that's not dice. That's not dice, but you know what? Mm. I'm working with what I've been given. Okay, just as long as it cooks through. Where's the um, measuring spoons? 
Hey! Right, it's starting to whiten now. So one teaspoon. This is one teaspoon of paprika. I don't know how once you've mixed this, you then just get half of it. Like I'll just use like a spoon to pour it out. Right. And one tablespoon of our special butchery. Let's just do a little mix and mix of this first though. Like it's white in it, but not all of it, you know? Yeah. It's okay though. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to try and like break that up with the spatula or something because that's way too big. Well, I'm trying. Well, it's, it's, it's not that it's one big bit, but it's lots of stringy bits all attached together. Yeah, that's unusual. I mean, if I wasn't filming, I'd fix it for you, but. Oh, no. What? Right, I'll do some film and you undo that for me because I can't. Oh, I didn't realise you were going to... I could have done that. I thought you were actually going to undo it properly. No. Right. Well, I can take over now. You could have just said just cut it with scissors. I could have done that. Do you want to have a go at cutting this bit up? No, I can't if I'm filming. Well, let me do this and then you can take over for that bit. So what we need here is a tablespoon, which is uh, this big boy. Careful. Mum said that I'd be quite generous with the Cajun spices because well, she yeah, said they're nice. Welcome to use more. I think that's all right. And then I'm just going to mix it with this. Okay. Right, now, I'm going to film, and Kat's going to show you how, if you have a big bit of chicken, you can break it up in the pan, and then we're probably done with that part, to be honest. So do you want to talk us through what you're doing there? I'm trying to find the... Just pulling it apart, innit? Like that. There's so many like string bits. It's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. I can't believe how cold my feet are right now. You do. They feel like death. Not to be dramatic. You are being a bit dramatic. I'm gonna go have a look at the recipe while you do that. So here's the recipe. We've mixed the Cajun seasoning paprika. Uh, we haven't added half of it to the pan yet. So we need to add it to the pan and stir and cook for a minute or so. And then we add the peppers and cook for another minute. So let's bring the peppers over. Um, we'll just put those over here for now. And then somehow we need to get half of this. I'm just going to tip it. Are you ready for half of this to be added in? Uh, if you can do it around me. Now this is quite an advanced technique here. I wouldn't recommend it if you're if you're new in the kitchen and you're, this is your first time cooking. Uh, make sure you're out with a spoon or something. Um, what I did there, very advanced. And I also had cat to work around as well. So really, I would not try that at home. Um, but it's all right. I think I've got that chicken in some more reasonable sizes. So you Very good. Stir in the... All right, well, if you take that then, I'll we'll stir in the half. There we go. And then all you want to do is put this for a minute, and then guess what we do, Catherine? Well, we add in the peppers. You might want to combine some of that onion that's stuck. Sorry. That's exactly what I'm doing. You do that. Not all of this chicken's got some seasoning on it. No, not all of it's gotten very some... far in the cooking process either. Should I add some extra seasoning? If you like. 
Sounds like, as your mum said, be generous with the seasoning. Uh, I don't have a tablespoon there. I don't give a fuck. What a maverick. Oh, oh you just I dropped a load of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. I'm a chef maverick. This is going to be real Cajun, isn't it? Yeah, let's not go crazy. You do still have another half of the mix to add later. Should I turn around to stop? Stop. Right. <laughs> I'm a culinary maverick. That's probably going to into that in a minute, hasn't it? Um, I'm just a bit wary that the chicken's still quite pink. I don't know how long it takes to the chicken. Well, I don't know how much longer does it have to be in with like. Well, it says three to five minutes, which we might have been following that. Then you add the back to a minute, which we've done. Then you add the peppers and you get to another minute. Then you add the cherry tomato and the chicken stock. So. Oh, okay, well, the stock will help the chicken. Start to boil well. on that. So I'm good to add the peppers in? Um. Yeah, I guess so. I just don't like that. I'm going to wait for a bit because obviously this kettle's going to take a while to boil. Well, I mean, you can add the peppers in. Do they? They only take the in for a minute and then you add in the stock. Right. And this kettle's going to take a while to boil, so I'd rather wait until. I don't know, what do you think? It's up to you. It's just the chicken's still quite pink. Yeah, yeah let's get the chicken sorted before we start adding the peppers in there. So as you can see, uh, sometimes when you're cooking, the recipe might say, uh, just chuck the chicken in for three to five minutes. Be smart. These recipes, they don't know what your chicken's actually like. And you might they have They haven't a, met your chicken. No, they haven't. And you might have a particularly tricksy chicken that you're like, oh, this will go nice and white quickly. It hasn't. Has it? No. So just adapt. Um, Adapt and survive. That's yeah. my advice when you're cooking. Yeah. Also try and have fun, but it's really difficult because cooking is shit. Yeah. In my humble opinion. Yeah. Do you enjoy cooking, Catherine? Not particularly. I'm so would you cook. agree with the statement cooking is shit? Yeah, I like bacon though. Oh, yeah. I'm not a big fan. She bake a lot of chocolate things and I get no enjoyment out of that. You've got cookies in the freezer that are not chocolate. Yeah. I honestly, and I know I've been going on about it, but I cannot emphasise enough how cold my feet are right now. I truly... Oh, do you want to go and get some salt? I mean, we've been filming for like 40 odd minutes now, so... No, let's just get on with it. Right, let's just hope my camera has enough memory. Yeah, that's my real hope. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a little break soon. I'm going to have the peppers in now. So we add in the peppers, like that. Yeah, that'll do. That's lovely. And you're going to want to stir to combine that. Yeah. So just do that, you just sort of mix it all around like this. You'll know if it's working well, because instead of having one big sort of bundle of peppers in the middle, they'll be I don't know how those peppers were so watery that they basically turned to mush. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I don't necessarily think that chopping, like putting them in the mini chopper, was the smartest yeah. idea. And then there's like this big bit here that's not chopped. <laughs> yeah, that's probably how it should be. No, diced is like just small diced pepper, but yeah, it's there's pepper so much water there, in those it? peppers that it's all gone mushy. Yeah. Sure, it will still taste all right. okay. Now, my chef six sense is telling me that this uh, kettle won't be long now. So what I'm going to do is start taking out the stock. Yeah, how much? What did you need? I want to say 250 milliliters. That's correct. Well done. Why are you smelling oh. it? Oh, I don't like Stop it. Stop cubes smell disgusting. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Oh. That was a mistake. I'm sure it'll be fine. We had that one the other week that smelled weird as well. I yeah, that was a ham one. one. Yeah, I want to see if that one smelled. Yeah, so we've good. now got a whole bunch of ham stock cubes, right? Yeah. And we're never making the cherry coat of popcorn talk again. No, so I'm just trying to see if there's another recipe that requires, that, requires that doesn't taste like absolute dog shit. Yeah. Oh, my chef's sixth sense kicked in perfectly. Fish. 
So 250 millilitres. So what you're going to want to do, if you've got a jug like this, is you're going to want to squat down and get eye level with the measurements. It's about there, isn't it? A quarter of a litre. 250 mil. Yeah. About there, lovely. Get about eye level with it. Um, if you're looking at it from up and down, that angle is going to affect what you see the uh, result as being. Yeah. Probably should use the fork, but here we are. That's going to take you forever. You go use a whisk. Use a what? Whisk. Where's the whisk? In the utensils pot right in front of you. The whisk one? is in there, yes. Oh, what? <laughs> what? How did that even happen? I lost my grip on it and it fell. No, you've made a big mess. No, I've made a very big mess. Oh, it makes a change that it's me though, doesn't it? What? I'm going to need you to take the camera. Well, I need to keep cooking at the moment because those peppers are only going to be in for a minute. And then you add the cherry tomatoes and the chicken stock and add in the remaining seasoning and stir well. So let me just do that bit and then we'll deal with... Yeah, but it's right in the way, isn't it? Yeah, I'm aware. Add that in. Lovely. Uh, the cherry tomatoes. I don't know the easiest way of adding these in because the, there's a lot of tomato saucy, juicy stuff. on the chopping board. Just ignore that, just have the tomatoes. Yeah, I'm trying not to make that spill everywhere. Yeah. I don't worry about it, it's enough mess on the floor. Yeah, actually. And the remaining seasoning. Oh, that's lovely. Stir that well. Where did you put the thing that you've dropped? In the sink. Do you use another one? What one do I use to stir? Use the with? big spoon. This? Yeah. All right, stir that well. What point is there like the big five minute gap? Oh, we're coming up to it. Okay. We are coming up to the big five minute gap. Um, what I'm going to need to do is refill the kettle though, because we're going to start doing the pasta in that five minute gap, aren't we? Yeah. So, let me... Actually, there's quite a lot. But I can do a little bit more water in there. There's still quite a lot left though. Yeah, I'd have just a little bit and be careful because it'll be hot. Yeah. Right, there. right, so. Now, what it says to do is uh, cook for about five minutes, then add the spring onion and cook for another five minutes. So we'll be back to add the spring onion, and at that point, we'll start doing the pasta and stuff. So we're gonna be back in five minutes time, Cat's Cam's Cardio FMS. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Time now is 1827, we'll see you at 1832. Quick song, cooking with Liam, here in the kitchen, cooking with Liam. Hello everyone, I said we'd be back at 18.32, and as you can see, it's 18.32. So that means it's time to add the uh, spring onions. So this is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm just going to carry it over there. Seems smart. Because I don't want to carry the chopping board with all the extra stuff on it that we don't care about. Yeah. Oh, also you can see Kat's done a sort of okay job cleaning up. Oh God, I missed the whole bit. Yeah, you missed the whole bit, that's why I said sort of okay, but... Oops. Don't know about that. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to add this in. Oh, shit, she's been boiling that. And then this has to cook for another five minutes. If we'd have been smart, we'd have boiled the kettle and that would have been ready to go at the same time. Whatever. We weren't smart, I guess. I guess not. Shocker. Shocker. So while that's happening and that's happening and everything over there is happening, in a large bowl like this one that we've got here, what we're going to do is mix the quark, two oh. tablespoons of quark. Quark, quark, probably should have mixed the tablespoon as well, to be honest. There we go, just a quick rinsey rinsey. Well, you just don't want to get that Cajun seasoning in your quark, quark. 
Oh, it doesn't matter, we'll probably never use it again. <laughs> no, Catherine, we don't waste food in this house while we're filming. Okay, we just do it when we're not filming. Exactly, but yeah. for the camera we tell people yeah. that we do not waste Cat's food. Um, we don't believe in wasting food, do we? No. Right, uh, right so what you want to do with this is just... Let me just do it with the other hand. Fill it up so that it just covers the pasta like so. I don't know if you're getting that. Oh, yeah. uh, I'd say that's probably about enough. Would you agree, or would you want a little bit more in there? No, that's fine. Yeah, of course that's fine. Now what you want to do? Add a bit of salt in there. No, the amount of salt you add, totally up to you. I'm going to add a lot. That much. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's a lot. That's quite a bit. Boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Boom. Probably on about that heat, I reckon. Yeah, that's fine. Every now and again, don't forget to stir this. I forgot to look at what time we added the spring onions in, so I don't know when the five minutes is up on it. Well, you don't say... want to set a timer for five minutes now for your pasta, so. Yeah, and this will be done in about two minutes, let's say. Ish. Ish. Um, okay, five minutes. Now, while that's all happening, I've washed up this, I've dried it as well, I need the quark. Oh god, this is oh, starting to get stressful now, Catherine. And you want to add your, your two tablespoons of quark into this bowl. Oh god, like that. Like that, right, one, two, here we go, ready? Yeah. Oh, it's like a yoghurt. Isn't it? Yeah, kind of. Do you not say that's like a yoghurt? That's just the consistency of a yoghurt. Yeah. You know what's All right, that's that done in. Don't flick it everywhere. Yeah, whatever. Let's put this in here. Sure. I don't know if we're going to need it. Yeah. No, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Egg. And what was the other thing? The spreadable cheese. Lovely. Here's the eggs. So, egg. You're going to just want... Obviously, not like that. Wrong. You're gonna need to, yeah? I don't think anyone's thinking you're going to put the whole egg in with the shell and all. You're going to break it on the side very carefully, right? Yeah. Ready? Because you don't want to get shell in there. Do it over here so it doesn't go in the dishwasher. Ready? Yeah. Bloody hell. Okay, well that done. That was pretty good. Yep. I don't like to brag. Just leave that there like that. Seriously? Huh? Seriously? Because not only is that definitely not in the bin, you've now got egg all over the bin. Yeah. It wouldn't go in. Yeah, I'm well aware the bin's full, but you never fucking empty it, so. So, right, I reckon this pasta needs to come off now. Well, you need to mix this. Yeah, with what? With a whisk. Oh, the spoon. Or a whisk. I'm the whisk the is dirty. Off, the pasta. off. Yeah, not the pasta, the chicken. Right. Or just down? Yeah, turn it down. It's not asking you to take it off the heat yet, has it? Well, basically, yeah. Once you've done this for the no, five no, minutes. Take it off the heat then. Well, no, it's just. Because I'd let it simmer because it's quite watery. So. What spoon am I using to mix this all in with? I don't know, a wooden spoon. Oh, I like that one. So for real, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. This little guy down here. I like him because he's little. Yeah. And I like little things, don't I? Yeah. Like. I'm sized. Alright, mix it all together like yeah, this. Yeah, you've got proper combine it though. Yeah, right? that's what I'm doing. Aren't I? Yeah. Well, so well done, Liam. You combined it excellently. Well done, Liam. I mean, you haven't yet, but well, no. well done. You're trying really hard. Yeah, that's. Don't forget the bits on the edge. Wouldn't dream of forgetting those bits. Mm. So what you want to do is just keep keep stirring, keep moving the spoon around in this sort of motion. Yeah. I don't really know what you're looking for. Ooh, to make it sort of combined so it's creamy. Is this creamy yet? Probably. I don't know. Okay, well, okay. I'm going to take that as yeah. Right. So done that, done that, until it's smooth, then add the chicken and veg mix. So, uh, so this is when this bit gets added. Yeah. Oh, right. Here we go. 
carefully. Done? Yeah. Now I'm going to need to set that well. I'm not going to use the wooden spoon for that though. No, I've used the one you've been using for the this thing. This one? Yeah. So it makes it up good so it's all yeah. creamy. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. On the other side it says, add the cooked pasta and then serve with some freshly ground black pepper and some grated cheese. Oh, we're almost there. We are so close to being there. Uh, I'll just check on my timer how long we've got for the, for the I pasta. I stirring that for you so it doesn't... 41 stir. seconds. Ooh. So you've got 41 seconds to stir that real good. Well, I don't want to over stir it. I just wanted to make sure it was going creamy how it's supposed to While you're to doing that, I'm going to start grating some cheese. Well, you just grate the cheese on top, so... Oh, okay. Just get the, you know, to, to your preference. Yeah, I guess. Are we having this in the pasta bowls? Yeah. Might as well. It is a pasta dish. Exactly. It's nicer than bind, I think. Right, I've got those out. Where are you serving all of this? I haven't decided yet. Right. It's going to be a surprise. Oh, there we go. There is the pasta. That, that means the pasta should be done. So, of course, nothing is simple with cooking. Just because the time has gone off and that means the pasta's done, doesn't mean it's like done done, because you now need to use a colander yeah. and get rid of the excess water. Yeah. There's always a little hidden gotcha with cooking, isn't there? It's just common sense. No gotcha about this. It's sort of like, add the egg. But wait a second, crack it and break the shell yeah, and just add the sense. innards. And then, oh, add the pasta. Wait a second, don't add all that pasta water. You don't want that. Common sense, just isn't it? Just lots of gotchas. Common sense. Just stop saying common sense, it's stupid. I hate cooking. I need to sneeze. This can... Oh, here we go. There we go, everyone. No, I think it might have gone. It'll be back. This will go in there, yeah? Yeah. Then stir it again. Yeah. Doesn't look like a lot of pasta. You... I know, I know that was on me, but... Yeah, don't even get your side on that. No, you it's okay. one job, Kathy. It's okay. With all the extra Do bits. Do some pepper in there now? Yeah. Tell me when. Yeah, that's probably enough. All right. It's fine. It is clean, it's just old. Alright, so as I always say every episode, when you're cooking for someone that you love, presentation is everything. How well it's presented is a good indication of how much you love that person, in my humble opinion. Right. Um, this is yours, Catherine. Yeah, don't worry about giving me loads of chicken because I know that you'll want plenty of that, so I'll just have mostly pasta. You're getting what you're given. Okay. That's yours. Thank you. Happy with that? Good amount? Would you want a bit more? Uh, we'll come back to you to give you some more once I've had some. Otherwise, you're going to get all the best bits. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've got loads left. Yeah, have I got the best bits left? Probably. Mm. It's very watery, isn't it? I think it's supposed to be that watery, or is it all the watery pepper? It's the watery pepper. What yeah. it's supposed to be is chunks of pepper that are in it. No, it said diced got. pepper. Yeah, diced into chunks. And what diced we've got... Diced and chunked is two different things. Not when I do it. What we've got is basically like a chicken soup with pasta. I mean, that's fine if it's tasty. That's the big if though, isn't it? Yeah. That's probably enough for me, isn't it? Do you want a little bit more? Yeah, you've got, you need more. No, that's, I've got enough. I don't want any more. Don't give me any more. I swear to God. Put that down. I don't want any more. You know how I feel if I have too much on the plate? How do you feel if you have too much on the plate? I won't eat it. Why is that? Because it's overwhelming. How do I feel if I have too much on the plate? You eat it all. Why? Because you're a pig. Because <laughs> I like a good challenge. Right. Can I not just give you this little bit of just mostly tomatoes? Sure. Okay, right. Now, the finishing touch. Grated cheese. 
And this is where the real presentation comes in, okay? Let's get it out of the bag first. There you go, that's the first step. Um, pick your, your setting. What, what setting of cheese do you want? That one? All right. Now, to do this in a way where you can really demonstrate the love, you want to do it around the bowl like this. So you don't end up with a pile just in the middle, but you end up with a nice coating of cheese over the whole meal. Okay. okay. Now, I know that Kat Fison, I love cheese. She loves cheese. So most people would probably have stopped by now. I haven't because... That's probably enough now. Mm, it's not yet. Okay. She loves her cheese. Quite hungry though, so... I know, and this is the problem sometimes when you, you're cooking That is her. enough! Will you hurry up? I've got a big lump that's going to fall off and I don't want it here. I'm wasting my cheese by over, what? like, being too zealous with your grate. I'm grating. not too zealous with my grate, I'm just stronger than I look. Too zealous with it. You're too zealous. I've... Oh, God, I've broken the cheese. Mate! You need to not put so much pressure, otherwise it will break. Well, how do you grate it without putting pressure? By doing it lightly. Like, you look like you're trying to, like... I'm trying to hold push it together. It over. I'm holding it together. Right, please stop before you ruin all of my cheese. <sighs> Bon appetit, enjoy. All right, hi everyone. We are here with Kat Fison. Say hi. Hello. Doing the taste test. This is the creamy Cajun chicken pasta. Let's see how that. Mm. It's going to be another average one, is my prediction. I like the flavour, there's just not a lot of it. Yeah, we need to stop doing pinch of non recipes. They don't have flavour to them. I'm never going to cook you a recipe that you go, wow, that was delicious, if it's a pinch of non-one. Okay. I mean, I think it's nice. Like, I'd eat it again. It tastes like something else we've had. I don't think it's massively dissimilar to the... Chicken and chorizo, just without the chorizo. <laughs> no, but it tastes like something else we've had with the spring onions and the sort of like quite saucy. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, it was fine. Um, minimal effort to cook this one, I reckon. Yeah. Um, tastes all right. Yeah, it tastes absolutely fine. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Um, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, or whatever. Um, good luck cooking.